Good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great day. It is a beautiful day here in East Tennessee. A little bit warmer today than it has been. Humidity's not quite crazy yet or anything, but I think it's supposed to be close to 90, upper 80s in the next week. So a little bit warmer than what we've had this past week, but that's okay. It's nice in the shade though. When you go out in the sun, that's when it gets a little toasty. I went out today and got some plants. So I went to one of my local nurseries and I hadn't been in a while. I know I went in the spring and they had some, a few carnivorous plants, like just like a tray of them, of like two inch pots. And so I went back and I never had any more because I really want to get some like different varieties of carnivorous plants. They're really hard to find around here. So I dropped by there today on my way home and found another tray of them and I'm excited. I found a carnivorous plant that looks different than mine. It's got different pictures on it, so I know it's definitely a different variety. They're still super tiny, so I can't tell exactly what variety it is just yet. Some of these, I don't have this one. And then I got some other cool plants, and these are tropicals. Y'all excited, you can tell. Look at that one. Coolest colored leaves. And I looked it up, and I've already forgot the name, so plan on doing that and I got some stuff to put them in. I got one a couple weeks ago to put a carnivorous plant in. I don't even know what it was used for, what this is specifically used for, but I, when I saw it, I was like, uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely work for carnivorous plants, and it's just $3. So I went back and got like three more of those. One's blue, like a dark blue. Y'all, I'm probably gonna regret repotting right now. If it gets too hot in here, I may end up doing it this evening when it cools off because the knots the knots are a lot cooler here now we're in the 60s i mean like low 60s which has been fantastic now just fyi on a lot of these tropicals they do not like to be below 60 degrees and they like it rather warm and humid so they have to be watered every day so typically you know these type plants really need a good region to grow in they my i'm in zone 7a so they cannot stay outside especially after this month they really have to be probably brought back in and a greenhouse ideally just because you can keep them really wet and humid you're, you're not going to be able to water this kind of plant really good indoors like in your house because i literally have to water this till it's pouring out of here out of the sphagnum moss and keep all these pictures wet so if you have a sunroom maybe um, but it needs to be pretty warm. I keep a pellet stove running in the winter time at night in here, but as soon as the sun comes up, it's, it's hot. It's 98 in here right now. So yeah, it's, it's really nice and warm in here. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. How y'all doing? Look at you little hungry mouths. I got some little guppies in here that spawned and they are just Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> I put them in there when they got big enough. You don't want to put them in there right after they have their babies because the bigger fish will eat them. So you have to have a good place to separate them. This plant is a tropical and it's called a Persian shield. Very pretty. It says it doesn't like to be below 60 degrees and it prefers warm temperatures and good humidity. So... I will write on this since it's already got a tag. Now this is what I use for my carnivorous plants. It's called sphagnum moss. And I usually put it in these things and keep it wet at all times. And I need to get me some more of this stuff. See the medium that they use? It just always stays really moist. And that is really cute. Now this one had dirt. So, I'm not real sure about that. My neighbor has these, so I'm gonna go over there and see what 
He's got his in to make sure that I'm putting mine in the right medium. Let's go do that. All right, so this one's called a purple pitcher plant. And I'm gonna head over there and see what my neighbor has his plants in. So y'all, I'm plant sitting this week. And today's my watering day. We've had no rain at all for a while. So um, we gotta water today. Gonna make sure all his carnivorous plants, which he has a lot of carnivorous plants. So they, they have to stay wet. All right, so I do believe that is the variety and it looks like it is in sphagnum moss. So I'm gonna remove the dirt that's around the other one and just use the moss because he's got some really pretty ones. Look at that. They're so beautiful. Some more of the Venus flytraps. And he has, this is what I have in my greenhouse. Now they're just another variety and they're in that same moss. Okay, there's two different kinds in there. Look at all these. Aren't they just lovely? Now he has honeybees and they, they come up here during the day because he has some hives down in his field and the other day when I was watering they were all in the backyard but they don't they'll never mess with me I've got a few things potted but I am gonna take a little bit of break this is the hottest part of the day and I will be back out here when it cools off a little bit. So this bed over here with the carrots and the lettuce, I've just noticed have started popping up. They're super tiny. Uh, I don't know if I can even see, oh, there they are. Little bitty. You can see them in the row right there, there. This row, these are my lettuce varieties and I can just see them right there popping up. So that's promising, I'm just keeping them good and wet because we're not getting any rain right now that's one big thing with seedlings coming up you want to make sure they stay wet but i'm hoping they do good i've still got those starts out there in my tray that are sitting outside hope to be transplanting them for too long i think i'm gonna have to give in and rip up a couple of these beds with the flowers in it because to be honest they're not going to last much longer anyways because we're going to have a cold spell come for too long and might as well go ahead and get the beds prepared since I'm gonna have fall crops. Also, I think I'm going to start decorating for fall. I was like on the fence of like getting all my stuff out. Normally I think, okay, by the time I do fall stuff, then it's almost Christmas. I'll just wait and do Christmas. But I think I'm gonna start with fall stuff. I, I don't do how I don't really get into Halloween much, but I do like the fall stuff. My sister-in-law gave me these cute little pumpkins last night and it kind of got me in the mood to like decorate and I just don't have enough fall stuff so I think I'm gonna go out and see if I can find some stuff maybe even make some stuff I'd like to do some stuff for my greenhouse I think that'd be really cute so I don't know maybe I'll go out and we'll hunt some stuff down and see what I can come up with and always this time of year I do apple butter and I am out of apple butter so I gotta get my big crock pot out that's where I do it I put all of my apples in there and I let them cook overnight in the crock pot it makes the best apple butter and I want to do like a strawberry jam. Apple butter and strawberry jam are my two favorites. I just love them. I've been craving it. So that is something I'm fixing to do soon. Plus I love to smell it cooking this time of year. So hopefully I can get myself motivated and maybe I can put that on the list to do next week as well. Cause this week is almost run out. y'all gotta go water on plant sitting so we're gonna go get that done before it gets dark y'all the days are starting to get a little shorter I'm noticing I'm over here and I'm gonna find out what I need to water we've not had any rain so most of the carnivorous plants I'm gonna water them just to be sure and safe leaves are starting to fall look at that fall is just around the corner 
have long sleeves on. It's not really cold out here, but mosquitoes eat me alive. My husband can go outside and he's just like, he, I don't think he believes me when I'm saying I'm getting eat up by mosquitoes. I have to go inside. He never gets bit, but me, I could get like 20 bites in like 30 seconds. There are honeybees everywhere right now. He has hives in the back of his field and they come up here during the day and get drinks of water and all kinds of stuff. They're literally swarming all around me. They don't ever bother me though. I don't pay much attention to them. We just agree to get along with each other. didn't break thank goodness I think one of the bricks was loose on the back <sighs> scared me to death check out this look at the blooms super cool and look at the blooms on that one beautiful I've been meaning to walk down here and look at my husband's project. He's not got it done yet. He's had a lot of extra duty going on with the air show and then he had to work tonight. So he may have another week on it, but I wanted to come look at it. Wowzers. Look at that. So he's been using a spray gun, him and Seth. They made like a little room out of plastic. Looks good. I don't want to hit anything in here. I'm sure it's going to. I'm sure it's going to be totally awesome when he puts it all together. I think maybe he's going to maybe try to install it by next weekend. I guess it depends on how the painting goes. So this is my determined tomato plant that self-seeded here on the driveway. No dirt. <laughs> Maybe it found some somewhere down there, but look at this. Is that not just amazing? Like it has all these blooms on it and all these tomatoes. I mean, it wanted to be here. All right, see you guys soon.